I know that uh, countries act in national interest and leaders further that national interest. But when we cover leaders, when we cover events, there's always this talk of personal chemistry. As someone who's been a diplomat, who's seen leaders up close and, and seen how they interact, what sort of an equation do President Biden and Prime Minister Modi share? And how much of this convergence and this coming together would you attribute to their personal equation? Well, it's clear they have a very strong personal equation, and the state visit is the prime example of it. The state visit was a decision by the two leaders, and uh, it reflects, I think, the importance each leader and each government and each society places in the other, right? It is a massive diplomatic gesture by the United States because a state visit is a rare thing in our system, and it is the very highest level of protocol and respect that can be offered, and it's for... Uh, the fact that, you know, India has had a very strong run of strong leadership, uh, economic growth, infrastructure development, um, you know, helping invest in the peace and security of its entire neighborhood, a quad partner. And so that personal equation is, is really important. And I hope that it continues and it helps build out our relationship in even more important and consequential ways. And you'll see it on stage at the, at the state dinner and at the arrival ceremony. And of course, in the uh, joint address uh, to the U.S. Congress, which is a gesture not just by President Biden and the American people, but really specifically by the elected representatives of the American people. So this is America wel welcoming India, and I think it's going to be a landmark moment in our relations.